little something a little different today and uh, play a round of golf from the golf club um, which if you haven't heard of it is a golf game for the PlayStation and PC um, it's made by an indie development team that I can't remember the name off the top of my head but uh, it's a really a really fun golf game um, that definitely is in my opinion better than um, the Rory McIlroy game from EA I feel like this one is you know it's a little more bare bones and but I really like the way that it plays it's really hard So it should be nice and peaceful because golf is one of my favorite things to do to relax. And I get pretty upset that the summer is almost over. My season to golf is almost over because I live in Canada and can only really golf five, six months of the year maybe at most. But yeah, so with this game, there is no, um, you know, Pebble Beach. There is no Augusta. Um, they don't have the rights to those courses. But what they do have um, is an unbelievably good course creator. Um, something that you can really sink a lot of time in and uh, make some really cool courses. So what people have been doing is uh, essentially just making the, the courses uh, in this course creator. So um, while you may not have the big name courses, uh, they're made to look exactly the same. And I have to admit, they're, some of them are really, really well done. And I mean, some people you can tell obviously took, you know, a lot of time to try and make them as realistic as possible. And I mean, with the, with the course creator, you can really make, um, you know, you can really make everything. You can change the levels, um, you know, add in all the hills, change the green sizes, you know, the fairways, the rough, the water. It's really, uh, it's really fun. I've played around with it a little bit. Um, you know, I've made a couple courses, but nothing really too serious. I've been kind of working on for the last month and a half, on and off, um, trying to make my my hometown course, and that way I can kind of play and practice it a little bit on here. You know, and it's a lot of fun because you can really go uh, pretty in depth with. Uh, oh, it's not a good shot. Making our way to the green slowly. It's one thing I'm not very good at in this game is, you know, judging the distances too well. Not really the best putter either. Yeah, so like I said, uh, I'm not very good at this game, but I just really enjoy playing it. It's fun to play. It's, uh, oh, that was close. Tiger Woods would have gotten that shot. But yeah, it's a fun game. Uh, it's pretty cheap as well. Um, you know, it's not a full price game if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> and I would definitely recommend it. I really like it.
So hopefully this will be a nice relaxing round. I turned off all the the commentator um, for the game to hopefully let it go a little bit more quiet. I left some of the game volume on though, so I'm hoping that it's not too loud. I just thought it would be nice because um, I usually turn down the commentating anyway because it gets a little repetitive. However, um, the gaming sounds themselves are actually really nice. And uh, they're very relaxing, you know. The courses are, of course, um, out, uh, you know, away from noise and just pollution. And so it makes the game uh, pretty relaxing in its own. I was putting on a bit better of a show, but at least it looks like the other um, the other PCs are struggling as well. I should lay up here. So right now, what I'm playing, it's not just a, it's not just a pickup game. It's uh, part of a, a tour that I'm playing. They have several different game modes, and uh, one that I kind of like playing is a tour because you get to play against um, real life other people's scores on on when they play these courses, and essentially you play. Um, you know, it can depend on the size, but I think this one is you know 20 different courses, and you play the 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 course uh, two times so it's like a mini tournament each time I don't fare you know too well in them but I am getting better it's just my putting that seems to be the biggest problem which is quite the same in real life If anybody out there watched uh, any of the golfing events at the Olympics this past week, it was uh, it was really nice to see that golfing uh, made its way back. I'm really excited for baseball to come back in 2020. Uh, I think it's going to be great for the game, and obviously uh, for me as a fan. But yeah, it was really nice to see uh, see the golfing on there again. And I follow uh, Ricky Fowler. He's a golfer who went down for Team USA. I follow him on uh, Snapchat, and he was um, he was kind of blogging his way through the Olympic Village and everything, and uh, it was really cool. It looks like they had a really good time. I have to say that I'm really surprised that the Olympics went as uh, smoothly as they did or as they seemed to. I really thought there was going to be a lot more, uh, a lot more drama with it, but you know, it turned out to be pretty good actually. Unless they just really hit it. Oh, I'm in the beach. That was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. So yeah, the customization in this game is pretty bare bones. I mean, you know, you don't get to, to pick your clubs. You can't pick, a, you know, a Callaway or a Nike or a TaylorMade or, 
you know, it's only one universal brand of uh, computer-generated clubs. And I mean, all you, all the characters, you know, again, since they don't have any licensing rights, you know, there's none of the big stars. So you don't have, you know, Ricky Fowler, Jordan Spieth, Tiger Woods. Um, none of them are, none of them are in this game. There also isn't any, uh, you know, career mode where you start out um, as an amateur and, you know, work your way back up. So, it'd be kind of nice if they had those things, but I understand since, you know, it's a pretty small team that worked on it. But there are some, uh, some customization options, um, with the character themselves. Um, so for example, you can, you know, pick what your wardrobe is or what your outfit is um, and they do actually have quite a few options you know nothing major you can't purchase extras and but uh, the, you know there were some pretty decent options for clothing and you can mix it up oh that was a great putt When I make a nice putt like that, it feels really good. But I like golf games, you know, they're pretty simple. You know, push back, push forward on the stick. Pick your club. You know, there's really not too much to it. Just nice and relaxing. Yeah, see, I'm going to blame my play on talking too much. I focus on the round more. Yeah, the backdrops and everything for this game are, are really, uh, are really pretty special. They're really, uh, you know, they look really good if you can see, you know, all the mountains and everything around. You know, the game looks very good. I have to give them credit for that. brought myself back down to even. Maybe what I can do for uh, another future video would be uh, I could show off my my created course in this and uh, you know play around in it, show you guys kind of what it looks like and you know some of the stuff that you can do in it. And there are still some holes that I, I need to make and work on in it, so I could, uh, could definitely put together something for that. Did it go in? Yeah, it did. Okay, so I'm back under. Oh, this is going to be perfect. I've never actually, I've never gotten a hole in one um, in real life or in this game. Uh, I've all, oh, it'd be something, uh, I think even in this video game I would be excited. Just because it's so unlikely to happen. Although, um, a friend that I go golfing with, he actually got two hole in ones in real life um, this summer got them within like a couple weeks um which is like 
which is crazy. I didn't think I had, uh, I didn't think that would happen to anybody that I've ever known. Go in. Oh my god. Wow, that would have been nice. It would have been nice because then I don't have to putt and then I wouldn't have to miss that. It almost feels like a waste. something too it's randomized every time so you know you can play the same course you know 10 times in a row and you'll get 10 different temperatures or uh, so 10 different uh, you know wind strengths and directions every time which is kind of nice because it adds a, a little bit of variety to the course see if we can close this one out here it does a really cool little you know panoramic shot of the hole too right before it I guess I probably should have uh, you know done that before every hole I'll have to know better for next time but you know it's a nice little shot so you know you got some sand there I think that's going right in the sand. Nope. Just misses. Sorry about that guys, my roommate decided to come down. So yeah, that's the golf club here. This is like part of the tournament that uh, you know, I've been playing in and those are my scores after the, after the courses. So as you can see, you know, okay, so there's more than 20, it's 23. Um, and I'm not even close in the leaderboard, but you know, it is a really fun game, and, uh, you know, maybe I can do a couple more rounds of golf in the future and show you guys a little bit more um, of this game. Alright, thanks everyone for watching.